Welcome to the Back Pain Show. Hi, this is Dr. Edward Martin, and welcome to the Back Pain Show. We're going to be talking about back and neck pain, so call us with your story. Let us know how long you've been suffering, uh, especially if you think you've tried just about everything out there. We have some exciting news. There's a new technology. It's called spinal decompression therapy, and it's helping thousands of people to avoid back or neck surgeries. Uh, wow, the phone lines are already lighting up. I'm in the San Fernando Valley. I'm Dr. Edward Martin. Let's see who's on the line. Uh, let's take our first call. Yeah, hello, Catherine? Hello, yes. Yeah, hi, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, what kind of problem are you having? I've had some lower back pain for several years, and I've been to doctors who have given me pain medications and told me to exercise and do physical therapy which has helped for a while, but it's coming back and it's getting worse. And now they want me to have surgery. So you've had it for how long again? Oh, probably about five, six years now. Okay. Did you notice that most doctors who are treating back pain and neck pain, they don't have a, a precise goal? And just like our previous caller, I asked him if he had a broken arm, he would expect the doctor to have an exact goal, maybe repairing the problem in three months or four months. But uh, we see people coming into the office where they've been at it for anywhere from a year to 20 years, and there's no specific goal of when that person's going to be better. Yeah, they can't seem to pinpoint what the problem is. Now, did you have an MRI, did you say? No, I did not. Okay. Uh, if it's my body... If I have pain more than two months, I'm going to demand an MRI because an X-ray or just a physical exam, it's not going to show you everything. Okay, uh, all right. So, yeah, basically get an MRI. If you ever want to come out for a free consultation, you can call us. Okay, thank, thank you. Thanks again for your call. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's take our next call. Oh, how are you doing? Do you have any pain, any back pain or neck pain? Well, it's been back pain, and it's been going on for years, and I've been taking anti-inflammatories, which I'm not happy about. Um, I've had MRIs in the past, and they've told me that it's uh, more degenerative arthritis than anything. Uh, but my question is, it's been progressing, and lately... It's at the point where I wake up in the middle of the night with uh, muscle cramps in the groin area going down to my knees so bad that I don't know which way to turn. And I found the only thing that's giving me any relief at that point is heat applied. But okay. I was wondering, does it sound like the leg pain's coming from my back? I don't think you have a proper diagnosis. Did the doctor say, uh, were there any bulging discs or herniated discs? A small bulge, yes. Yeah, see, and many times they ignore it, and they they may not be that interested in unless it's very large where they're thinking of sending right. you to a surgeon. Right, um, I understand that. Put it this way, most patients that come into the office, if they have pain for more than one or two months, and if it's going into the leg or into the groin, you can almost bet it's a bulging or a herniated okay. disc irritating okay. the nerve. Okay. Nobody uh, told you about spinal Nobody decompression therapy? That. No, and I just had an MRI about three weeks ago, and um, I've got to go see the doctor, so I'll be interested to hear what he has to say. But do you what, think what kind of doctor is he? He's an orthopedic, spine orthopedic. What do you think he's going to be interested in saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. He's going to uh, what he's going to tell me. I, he keeps giving me uh, anti-inflammatories. Yeah. And and cortisone injections I've had twice, and I do not want to continue that. That is nothing but let, a Band-Aid. Let me just comment real quickly here. We have patients coming into our office that have been going for epidural injections or cortisone injections for over 15 years. Oh. And the average one says, we ask them, the average one tells us they got one or two weeks of relief, and that was it. And oh, then exactly. the doctor starts talking about surgery. 
mm-hmm. and back surgery uh, has it's not the best surgery out there. It no. it has a very high failure rate. Many Absolutely. of the patients come into my office and they tell me that after going on a surgical consult, they tell me the surgeon, at least he was honest with them, he told them it's 50-50. So I hear that over and over again. Yeah, exactly. So that's not a great success rate, but at least those surgeons were honest about it. Right. I mean, there are times when you need a surgeon. There, we find maybe 1% on up to 2% need surgery. The majority don't need it. Well, they've told me I have spondylolisthesis, and it, it would require putting a, a rod to stabilize the back. Uh, That's so major just, surgery. That is major surgery. Yeah, and so you have to have even to know, that. see, one thing I've learned in 18 years in this field, you have to know how the surgeon thinks. I, when I need a surgeon, I use certain surgeons that rarely do that. They do microsurgeries if they're going to do it. And most of the time, they're actually telling the patient to wait. We're lucky with spinal decompression. We're finding the majority of people can get better in just a few months. Let me just tell you what spinal decompression does. It's specialized equipment that only a few doctors have. Uh, There's maybe just a few thousand doctors in the whole country that have it. And it basically leverages the spine at different angles and it actually pulls the bulge or herniation back into okay. its proper position, and therefore it's not hitting the nerve anymore. Okay. And that's why we find average patient, yes. the majority of them. We can't help everyone. I'm not right. going to kid you, but the majority get better in two to three months. I'm in the San Fernando Valley. I'm Dr. Edward Martin. All right, and let's take another call. All right, our next caller is Jan on line four. Jan, are you still there? Yes, doctor, I'm here. Okay, what kind of problem are you having? Uh, Well, I'm calling about my husband. He had sciatic nerve pain that he was told was caused by a bone spur on uh, pressing on a nerve. Uh, Would decompression therapy work on that? On a bone spur, and what? Where was it? In well, he had sciatic nerve pain. Okay, and uh, what kind of treatment are they giving him? Mostly pills or injections? He had a a round of steroid treatment. Okay, and And that's good to knock down some of the swelling. But if it's something that keeps persisting for months or years, it's not taking care of the full problem, which is the bone spur digging into the nerve or into the spinal cord. And what decompression does, it's really good for bulging and herniated discs, but we have especially elderly patients like over 80 that uh, have a lot of bone spurs, and their doctor doesn't even want to think of surgery because of their age. When we put them on the decompression machine, it actually creates space between the vertebra and it takes pressure off of where the spur is hitting the nerve. I see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you offer other therapies um, besides the decompression? Well, maybe some therapies to relax the muscles, but the decompression's the key. Uh-huh. And that's where always ask your doctor, when are you going to be better? Make sure he has an exact game plan, just as if he was treating a broken arm. You don't want to be asking him five years from now, how come you're still in pain? But we do some other therapies, but decompression is the name of the game here. Now, be sure to listen to us and uh, definitely call us with all your questions. And until next time, this is Dr. Martin. Have a great week. The Back Pain Show. I'm Dr. Edward Martin, and my number is 818-225-7734. Have a great week.